Kapok Tree Chronicles Hello, gardening enthusiasts, and welcome to FAQ Nature's Garden Haven, your trusted source for all things related to gardening in the natural world. Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of the Kapok Tree, a majestic and culturally significant tree known for its towering presence and unique characteristics. Whether you're an experienced gardener or just beginning your green journey, we've got you covered with 15 frequently asked questions about the Kapok tree. The Kapok tree, with its impressive stature and ecological importance, is a true gem in the world of botany. Join us as we explore the realm of the Kapok tree, from planting and care tips to its cultural significance. For more gardening insights and resources, visit our website at gardeneplantingflowers.com. Let's embark on a journey through the captivating world of the Kapok tree. FAQ 1. What is a Kapok tree? The Kapok tree, scientifically known as Seva Pentandra, is a towering tree native to tropical rainforests known for its massive trunk and fluffy seed fibers. FAQ 2. Where should I plant a Kapok tree? Kapok trees thrive in tropical and subtropical regions with well-drained soil and full sun exposure. When is the best time to plant a Kapok tree? Plant Kapok trees in the early spring when the weather is warm and frost-free. FAQ 4, How do I care for a Kapok tree? Provide regular watering during dry periods, and protect young trees from strong winds and pests. FAQ 5, How tall can a Kapok tree grow? Kapok trees can reach staggering heights of up to 230 feet, making them one of the tallest trees in the world. FAQ 6, What does the Kapok tree's foliage look like? The Kapok tree has large, compound leaves with multiple leaflets that create a lush, tropical canopy. What is the cultural significance of the Kapok tree? The Kapok tree is revered in various cultures for its use in traditional medicine, ceremonies, and as a source of natural fibers. FAQ 8, Can I grow a Kapok tree from seeds? Yes, Kapok trees can be grown from seeds, but they require specific conditions and patience. FAQ 9, Do Kapok trees attract wildlife? The tree's flowers attract pollinators like bees, and its fruit can provide food for various wildlife species. FAQ 10, How do I harvest Kapok fibers? Kapok fibers, used for making pillows and mattresses, are obtained by collecting the cotton-like material from the tree's seed pods. FAQ 11, are Kapok trees endangered? Some Kapok tree populations are threatened due to habitat loss, so efforts are in place to conserve this species. FAQ 12, can Kapok trees be grown in containers? Kapok trees are not suitable for container gardening due to their immense size and root system. How do I protect my Kapok tree from diseases? Maintain good tree health to prevent diseases, and promptly address any issues such as fungal infections. Can I plant other crops beneath a Kapok tree? Due to the dense canopy, it's challenging to grow crops beneath a Kapok tree, but you can plant shade-tolerant species. FAQ 15, How do I propagate Kapok trees? Kapok trees can be propagated from cuttings, although it can be challenging, and success rates vary. There you have it, 15 FAQs about the majestic and culturally significant Kapok tree a symbol of tropical grandeur and ecological importance. For more gardening tips and resources, visit our website at gardeneplantingflowers.com. If you found this information inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to FAQ Nature's Garden Haven for more gardening wisdom. May your garden flourish with the towering presence of the Kapok tree.